to greetings and welcome friends uh we were talking well actually i wasn't even here yesterday ryan uh but you guys learned actually you weren't here yesterday it was two days ago man i'm just so incorrect in my statements uh but either way we talked about angle side angle and angle angle side as sufficient means to prove triangles congruent and it says here decide whether enough information is given to prove state which theorem so uh question three what are your guys thoughts question three yes uh by which means Angle, angle, side. Now, what's the difference between angle, angle, side, and angle, side, angle? Isn't that the same number of angles and sides? Uh, yeah, so the side is not between the angles. Notice the S is not between the, the A's. And uh, so, yeah, so this would be like the included side. Uh, and here's a non-included, and here's another non-included side. So angle, angle, side is re related to that situation. Uh, yes. How about uh, question six? Yes or no? Yeah. I've got this, vertical angles theorem. And what does that then allow me to do? Angle, side, angle. Because the, in this case, the side is in between the two angles. All right, uh, I like this problem. This is a little less uh, visual, but you could draw a picture if you want. Uh, so A, B, C, and, uh, and def, here we go, or some triangles. And then they gave us some factoids here. They said angle C is congruent to angle F, A, B is congruent to D, E, and B, C, uh, is congruent to EF. Uh, it says decide whether you can use the information to prove those triangles congruent. The answer is no. No. Uh, because we don't have sufficient information when I have an angle, side, side, or ASS. There's no theorem in math for that. Please. But you guys, I guess if you really wanted to, could spend the rest of your mathematical careers trying to prove some theorem that conveniently had those acronyms if that was like your goal in life. You could, you could, uh, and uh, technically, you might have been able to kind of like visualize this or based off of uh, kind of what's labeled, you could have said, okay, so AB was congruent to DE, uh, let's see, BC was congruent to EF, and angle C was congruent to F. Maybe you could like just by looking at the letter arrangements have realized that the angle was not in between the two sides. And uh, yeah, because side angle side was the only one that works if you have two pairs of sides and one pair of angles. So yeah, so that's a no-go. All right, here's some proofs, friends. <laughs> Man, that was a good one. I'm so... Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Statements and reasons. Uh, so guys, we've got uh, given. And let's uh, make sure that all the given information is labeled. AJ is congruent to KC. Uh, BJK, gentlemen, is congruent to BKJ. We've got those. Uh Angle A and angle C are congruent. And which two triangles am I trying to prove here? Uh, a, B, K. So I'm actually trying to prove these overlapping triangles are congruent to each other. Uh, interesting, interesting. All right. So, uh, so I've got a bunch of given information, but where can I go from here? JK is congruent to itself, Ryan, do you agree? Yeah? Uh, all right, JK is congruent to itself. I think I see where you're going here. Okay, so uh, by seg add post, Uh, I guess I also could have had JK equals JK by def of Kong first. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so we would say AJ plus JK is equal to AK. And we also would have, uh, what do we got? KC plus JK is equal to KC. So those are both seg segment addition postulate here, Ryan. You can follow along. Uh, and then I think I can do a, what are your thoughts? Yeah. Oh, JC, my man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Thank you. Uh, so I've got this entire segment uh, and this entire segment. Can I prove these two are, are congruent or equal to each other in length? Well, I know that AJ and KC are congruent, so I think I could substitute from the given information that is currently unlabeled. I could substitute uh, KC in for uh, AJ, right? So I could have had uh, KC plus JK uh, equals AK by subs. And then I could have AK is equal to JC by transitive or substitution, right? And then I finally got AK is congruent to JC, the segments, uh, by def of Kong. All right, so that's... These, these always require a lot of tedium uh, when it's usually kind of a, a pretty obvious jump. But yeah, we've got the entire segment congruent to the entire segment. Question, comment? Well, it's segment addition, postulate, it's substitution, it's transitive. What we should do, because this happens a lot, you're right, we should make just a theorem that just is like the the segment addition theorem plus you know where like because yeah we've we've done this a number of times and it's it's usually pretty tedious every time uh but yeah the liam math theorem that that would be pretty cool pretty cool uh i'd need a formal proof of it i guess and yeah uh but either way so i've got angle I've got side and I've got angle, uh, so I think I have sufficient information to say triangle ABK is congruent to triangle CBJ uh, by angle side angle congruence uh, theorem. Uh, another side piece of information that we would have had is that because these two angles are congruent, that these sides would have been congruent to each other by the base angles converse, and the same thing with these ones. Uh, so you actually could have gotten, gotten, uh, quite a bit of other pieces of information. Uh, but that would have been, uh, yeah, angle, angle, side kind of could have, could have worked, uh, side, angle, side eventually. Yeah, there's quite a bit of things that you could do, uh, as a result. All right, there we go. So let's look at one more proof and then I've got a construction. All right, this one I think will be a little bit swifter. Uh, so yeah, so if you didn't get the proofs last night, uh, make sure you're writing this down. And if you did, uh, make an attempt, you know, make sure yours makes sense. And the thing about proofs is they are somewhat open-ended. Uh, it's not necessarily requiring that you did it in exactly the same order or using even the same methods that I did. Uh, sometimes there's multiple approaches. Uh, so let's see, the given information uh, all appears to be labeled. Uh, what's another piece of information that might be helpful for us? I don't think I can prove that L, M, and K, N just yet. I don't think I can prove that. But let's see, I'm trying to prove this triangle is congruent to this triangle. Also on the test uh, in a couple school days. Uh, yeah, we've got, I think, five proofs or something like that on it. Aha, I like it, yes. Uh, K, M is congruent to itself. KM is congruent to KM by reflexive. Yeah, always be looking for those reflexive and vertical angle theorems ones. And then let's see, uh, do I have enough information? I've got a side. Uh, so let's see. Right, right. 
Yeah, that side counts as two. Uh, but let's see, is it angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side? Well, let's look at just the blue triangle. If I go around the triangle, uh, I'd have angle... Oh, wait, angle... Oh, angle this way. Angle, angle, side. Yeah, there we go. So, okay, so I'd have to go around that way. Sorry. Yeah, because... I almost bought this angle for a minute there. Uh, what, what was your thought, question? Yeah, uh, only because I would have been jumping over an angle, bless you, uh, in order to make that move. All right, let's see if I can do this uh, final construction. Construction. All right, uh, let's... Uh, man, I'm so glad I figured out that I could just double tap. Brap, brap. Uh, make that a circle. Um, so let's... Uh, Let's uh, see if we can construct a congruent uh, triangle using, um, yeah, I guess I'll do yellow, uh, using angle side angle as a theorem. So here's here's a ray that I made, right? Ah! Uh, now nah, I'm intentionally having it a little offset just for fun. Uh, so guys, how can I uh, get a segment congruent to say DF, for instance? Yeah, put a circle on there, match that radius, and we would swipe. So there's one. So here's a segment length now. Uh, but now I need to match this angle. Oh, man. I'm going to shut off this mouse. I, I shouldn't have any input coming from my, huh, from my writing tablet other than the pen. That's weird when it shifts around. Uh, so I've got to construct this. Let's try to uh, construct this angle here. So to do so, um, ah, no, we're not allowed to do that. Yeah, because we're, we're trying to construct using a compass and a straight edge. Yeah, you can use that to check your work at the end. So let's see. So I'm going to do this swipe and then uh, from that intersection, I'm going to resize until it reaches here. Uh, theoretically, and I did this, I think, a few days ago, if I happen to pick point E where that landed, I would have been constructing an angle and a side length simultaneously. But I'm, I'm trying to specifically show you that the angle piece of it works out. So let's see. Let's uh, construct a ray. Construct a ray through there. All right, so we know that it's going to travel this way somewhere, and I've I've created two congruent angles, and let's do uh, one more angle real quick. Now that we're 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 getting speedy at this. All right, so we'll uh, now I want angle side angle, so I've got congruent sides. I've got an angle, so I have to pick angle F as my next one here. So let's see. So here and here, and now let's figure out. Okay, so from this point, I've got to change. So the intersection that would match that angle is right there. And so I'll do that right here. Eh, right there is about. And now I can create a ray passing through uh, that point like so. And by angle side angle, uh, this intersection should be uh, congruent to the other. So this would be like, uh, I don't know, A and B and C, and I would say that angle, uh, triangle ABC is congruent to DEF by the angle side angle congruence uh, theorem. All right, so there's your uh, construction for today. Well, thanks for watching, internet friends. Have a great day. Uh, oh, I shut off that mouse. I can't, no wonder. Adios, adios.